Everyone hated her. In the dark hall, one can only see the pale light of a small night lamp. A black silhouette advances slowly, hugging the wall. The hands of the indistinct form are hidden within its garment, until it stops in front of a closed door. Suddenly, one hand appears and turns the doorknob, the other holds a long pointed object. In the room, a sleeping body offers its uncovered throat. In a split second, the murdering arm rises and strikes the neck two times. The weapon pierces the throat to the right and to the left. The body convulses for a moment before surrendering to death. The door recloses, and the shadow slips back into the darkness. Who killed the Mother Superior? She was an evil woman, and many wanted her dead. Although the convent's assassin is fiction, the main character, Mother Notre Dame de Pan, represents a woman who really existed. Could the killer be a schoolgirl she intimidated with vitriol? What goes on behind the closed doors of convents? Lean only heard the real message, which her mother had repeated over and over again for weeks. If this boarding school is not severe enough, reform school is waiting for you. The little girl didn't understand the meaning of the threat, but every time she heard it, she was paralyzed with fear. They were now in the main entry. There were no windows, only many doors. Set in the 1950s, this spell-binding murder mystery holds its secrets until the very end. The Convent's Assassin is now available at Amazon.com and other online retailers, as well as directly from the publisher.